Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. And first off, sorry it's been such an obscenely long time since I last uploaded any sort of half decent content. Uh, I have just recently gotten married and been on honeymoon, so uh, <laughs> it's been a pretty crazy couple of months to be honest. So uh, yeah, all the planning, preparation, everything, it has been um, absolutely crazy, crazy, crazy. But um, things are finally starting to get back to normal a little bit now. And um, yeah, married life is pretty sweet. Um, in fact, it's much the same, to be honest, because me and my missus have been together for so long now. It's just just a case of making it official, really. So, um, But yeah, we've had a great time, and I just wanted to take this time to say thank you to all you guys for your continued support on this channel. Uh, I know I've not been uh, around at all, but uh, I noticed you guys are still tuning in, and I've even gained quite a few subs, which is I'm super, super grateful for that. Thank you so much for all the continued support. We're even uh, we're nearing 500 subs as well, which is amazing. I never even thought this channel would get anywhere near that, to be honest. Considering I just, you know, I got my start through just uploading, you know, match clips and stuff, basically. So I never, in my wildest dreams, imagined I would actually hit close to 500 subs. So um, yeah, thank you so much, guys. Um, but anyway, I mean. Um, just in case you thought I dropped off the face of the earth or anything, don't worry, I am still around and I do plan to get back to it pretty soon, uh, coming up with ideas for new content, new tutorials for Feng, even dabbling with the idea of uh, starting some pool tutorials as well, so let me know what you think about that. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, I've, been ke I've been keeping up with my playing, I've still been playing a lot, I've been playing tons and tons of ranked, loads and loads of quick matches as well, which is kind of what's going to lead me on to the topic of today's video, which may come off as a bit of a rant, I don't know, I'm going to try and keep it a bit more upbeat, I don't want to make it a complete uh, negative uh, tangent, but I'm going to start off by, uh, let's, let's, do, let, let's go with a story to start with, it's probably the best way to kick this off, and uh, Basically, okay, so story time. I was playing quick matches, and I came across this Nina player. Um, had a pretty good match. I won. He accepted a rematch, and uh, in the second match, he literally managed to scrape a win by the skin of his teeth. And then, instead of rematching me, he decided to keep key charge, teabag, and then run away and not rematch, which, um, needless to say, was a little bit annoying, but... Um, but it happens, you know, um, it happens. Um, but the best part was, a couple of minutes later, I run into the same guy again, and I beat the absolute piss out of him this time around. And this motherfucker actually had the nerf to request a rematch. So not only did I not rematch, I let the timer run right the way down, just to really, really waste his time, you know. And, uh, and then, of course, declined the rematch, um, which felt absolutely great. It was sweet, righteous revenge. Um, some, you know, it may come off as petty. I can see how you might think that might be petty, and it probably is a little bit petty, but I don't care. It felt great, to be honest. <laughs> it felt really, really good. But that's what's going to lead me on to the topic of today's video. You know, I think I was completely justified in one and dunning this absolute clown on that basis. Um, but the topic of today's video really is what I like to call Tekken 8's wet blanket problem, basically. Um, and it's nothing new, it's kind of old hat because it's in relation to one and dunners and pluggers, and this argument slash debate has been going on since 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 Tekken 7, to be honest, you know. It, it's, it's nothing new, it's certainly nothing new, but in recent months it just seems to be annoying me more than ever. Um, and I'm encountering this sort of behaviour more in quick matches than I am in ranked, funnily enough, which is really, really mind-blowing to me. You know, I'm encountering more pluggers and one and dunners in uh, in quick matches than I am in ranked, which is completely crazy because there is literally nothing on the line. I mean, what kind of delicate little flower do you have to be? What kind of fragile, delicate little flower do you have to be to one and done and plug on quick matches? I really don't get it. Now, that's not to say that I condone plugging and one and dunning in ranked games. I certainly don't, you know, not at all. But at least there is reason for it. There is logic behind it. And that is that the ranked system and the ranked point system, I believe, is extremely flawed and needs to be looked at in some detail. Um, and, well, completely overhauled, to be honest. Because it's, I think it's the one thing really letting Tekken 8 down at the minute is the ranked system and the point system within. So, like I said, although I don't agree with plugging and one and dunning in ranked, I get it you know i get it because to me ranked it's more like high stakes gambling than it is tekken at the moment you know because you can for instance you can rack up a huge win streak you can you know get be racking up your points and nearing the point of promotion which i have been several times i've been you know treading water at tekken god for quite some time now and i've nearly hit god supreme a few times 
But all it takes is one bad match, you know, one catastrophic loss, and you go completely bust and you lose all those points, well over a thousand points. And nine times out of ten, it's against an opponent that is like a couple of ranks higher than you with double your prowess or something, which is just insane to me because at least in Tekken 7, the rank points scaled with your, you know, your opponent's ability level and how closely matched they were to you. Which I think should be the case in, you know, in Tekken 8. You know, I, I think the rank points should scale with how closely matched the opponents are. You know, so the most points won or lost is if you encounter someone of a similar prowess and of the same rank. You know, uh, if it's someone a rank higher or lower than you, then drop it to 500 points. And for anything either side of that, maybe 250. I don't know. Um, but obviously, the other problem is, I think, is the best of three system and the problem. You know the problem that comes with that in the one and dunning. Now, I know one and dunning is nothing new. That's, you know, that happened in Tekken 7, you know. Uh, in a way, I get, you know, it's good that we've got a three-match limit because it stops people farming for points, which was a big problem in Tekken 7, you know. You could literally farm weaker players for points and rank up exponentially from that, you know. So it has kind of tackled that problem in a way and made things better, which is great. There is some good that's come of it. But the problem is, I think we need, you know, we have far too many complete and utter wet blankets around that just literally run away after one match because they don't have the confidence to think they can beat you a second time round. And they'll make every excuse under the sun. Believe me, I've heard it all, you know, oh, I'm, you know, I'm an extremely important person, you know. I've got to go on a quest for fire or find a solution to world peace or I've got to go feed my dog. Or, you know, the most ludicrous excuses, which I don't buy for a second, you know. <laughs> you know, at the end of the day, how how rich and fulfilling can their life be that they simply can't spare the time to finish the motherfucking set that they've you know despite the fact that they've committed to wasting this time to sit down and play this video game already you know it just doesn't sit with me now granted it, emergencies do happen you know i totally get emergencies do happen you know and it's you know it's rare that it would happen right at the conclusion of a match you know for instance if an emergency happened while i was playing it's usually going to happen mid-game, isn't it? And in that case, I would literally put my control pad down and go see to whatever demands my immediate attention, you know? Um, having said that, that's happened a few times, you know, and I, you'll be surprised how many good people there are in the Tekken community. I had one recently where um, my doorbell rang, you know, it was, I was fighting someone and they were on their promotion match and I was a couple of rounds ahead of them. And uh, doorbell rang, obviously I'd put my control pad down and go see to it. And... This guy, despite being on his promotion match and a couple of rounds down, actually waited for me, you know, which th these are the sort of people that should be praised, you know, I mean, that is, you know, can you honestly say you would have done the same thing in that scenario, you know, uh, I, I was just absolutely astounded this guy actually waited because I guarantee 95% of players would have taken that free win, you know, so uh, hats off to that guy. And it's good that there's still, you know, it's nice to know there's still some great people within the community that will play honorably, you know. Um, but yeah, regarding this whole one and done thing, I do have a solution to it, which may or may not uh, sit well with some of you guys, but I think it needs to be looked at. Uh, and I think what needs to happen is people need to be incentivized to actually stick around for the full set, you know, because I'm just so fed up with people one and done you know, getting a lucky cheap win and running away with some points, knowing full well they won't be able to do it a second time round. And this game more so than, I mean, you know, in Tekken 7, it was more difficult to kind of steamroll someone, you know, you could usually, you could usually suss someone out quite quickly in Tekken 7, uh, but in Tekken 8, now with the heat system, it is easier than ever to completely steamroll a better opponent than yourself and run away with the points before they have a chance to do anything about it. I've seen it happen to pro players, you know, they can get completely steamrolled by a terrible opponent before they've had chance to adapt or do anything and you know that's what's so wrong with this game and I think this is why we need to incentivize people to stick around for the full best of three and my solution to that is that I think they should be awarding the points on conclusion of sitting out the full set of three you know so anyone that plugs or decides not to rematch during that set of three they automatically forfeit the points to the opponent that stays and that's the way it should be I think in my mind and I know that's not going to sit well with a lot of you. A lot of you are going to argue saying that, oh, you know, forced rematches shouldn't be a thing. You know, it's not a rematch if it's forced. And no, it's absolutely not forced. You know, I'm suggesting that you can leave whenever you want. If you choose not to rematch, that's on you. But just be aware you're forfeiting the points to the rightful victor, who was the person that stuck around, who had the confidence in their abilities and the freaking balls to sit it out, you know?
but unfortunately there is just too many complete and utter drips and wet blankets out there that just don't have the confidence in their ability to sit out a full set of three and they will make up every excuse under the sun <laughs> as to why they won't rematch and the most common one you always get is this counter argument nobody owes anybody a rematch which yeah i totally get that you bought the game play it as you will you know don't let me tell you how to play the game but i think especially as you start becoming a more advanced player in Tekken 8 I think there should be some sort of a code of conduct and you know I think awarding the points on conclusion of a set of three is the way we should go with this you know now obviously there are problems inherent with that and one of which is the connection okay so obviously you can't be expected to sit out a set of three or forfeit points to someone on account of a terrible connection and that's what would require some tweaking but that's one reason I love the new No Contest tab, which has been implemented in Tekken 8. Um, I'm sure most of you have seen it by now, but usually when a match starts in the first round, if the system detects some sort of um, problem with the connection, you'll get a little tab pop up in the bottom corner saying, hold this button to No Contest, basically. And if you do that, it will render the match void, basically, uh, completely No Contest it. Uh, it's a great thing, and I think that should be um expanded further with the system i'm suggesting but it would be the you know you it would it would need to be made a bit more reliable because the problem with the one we've got currently is even though it's great it's not very reliable sometimes you'll still get a bad connection and that pop-up will be nowhere to be seen so um so something like that would need to be kind of uh, we need some sort of avoiding system for you know bad connections because there are times when you know when not rematching i think is justified one of which is obviously on account of bad connections if you know if ever i encounter a bad connection i won't rematch that's for sure um so you know there are times when it's justified and also like the example i mentioned in my story at the start of this you know if someone's gonna piss about with you and waste your time and not rematch you then by all means do the do the exact same thing to them you know tit for tit for tat so to speak you know it might seem petty but it is what it is you know but that is basically my suggestion anyway. I'd love to hear what you guys think on it, but I really think that we need to kind of really just incentivize people to stick around for this full set of three. Um, and I think it would, you know, going this direction, we would pretty quickly, it would reveal people's true rank, I think, because there's far too many people that are, you know, carried right the way to the top ranks at the moment. And they've pretty much bullshitted their way there, really. Um, it's just it's far too easy to do that and I think you know incentivizing people to stick around for the full set of three or else they forfeit the points it would pretty quickly reveal people's true rank it really would um, but yeah I mean let me know what you guys think on it obviously there are problems that would need to be kind of looked at in terms of that uh, and the biggest glaring is obviously is the um, the connection issue because you know you not only do you not want to sit out a full set of three with someone that's got an awful connection, but you also don't want to get halfway through it only to find out that it's been rendered void or something. You know, it's just a complete waste of time. So um, I think they need to do some, you know, they would need to implement something like the no contest tab that can pretty quickly kind of say this match will continue or won't continue, but, you know, it's going to be void basically. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, I mean, Sorry for the rant and all, it's a bit of a <laughs> strange topic to come back on, you know, my first video back and I'm having a rant, but it is, it just seems to be annoying me more than ever, just the the calibre of player that I'm encountering at the minute, and it's just 90% complete and utter wet blankets at the moment on both ranked and quick matches, and um, it's just obscenely annoying, it really is, to just keep on encountering these players. But like I said, I mean, there are great players out there, you know, like the other example I mentioned earlier, the guy that actually sat around and waited for me when I went to answer the door, you know, things like that, you know. And people that will keep rematching despite the fact that they're getting the absolute tar beaten out of them, you know. I mean, these are the people that we should look up to, you know. You know, you can get, you know, I've had opponents that are completely outgunned and I've been on the receiving end of it as well, where I've been completely outgunned by my opponent, but I'll stick it out. And you know, sometimes you even manage to turn things around, you know. And that's another argument that sometimes people will make. It's like, oh, why should I stick around if I'm getting completely obliterated in the first game? And it's like, you never know what could happen in the second game. I've had games where I've been nearly triple perfected in the first game, only to come back and win the whole damn set. So, you know, you can't base much off of that first game because it's just so easy to steamroll someone. But anyway, I know I'm... Uh, 
rambling on now and just going around and around in circles. But it has been just really annoying me, and I think it's something that needs to be addressed in an upcoming patch. And I think the rank system just needs a complete and utter overhaul. And uh, yeah, I mean, like I say, the plugging and the rage quitting, that is still absolutely, you know, it's still prevalent. And with that, again, I don't know why, you know, we keep hearing about all these players, you know, the, mo the most prolific offenders, they're getting bans and whatnot. We keep hearing about that. But I don't agree with that even. I just, you know, what's the point in banning people? You know, just literally the simplest, simplest solution is just to give the points to the person that didn't plug. That's the simplest solution, you know. It would, uh, <laughs> it would kind of dissuade people from plugging if they know they're going to be, you know, forfeiting the points to. I mean, it could be so easily remedied, it really could, but instead they're choosing this route of, you know, reporting people and yada yada yada, and it just... It just makes absolutely no sense to me, and I'm pretty sure no one reads those reports anyway. You know, I think it's just a cuddle button, so if someone plugs on you on your promo match, you go to the report feature, you have a little bit of a whinge, and uh, yeah, you feel better because you think you've done something. So. I think that's nothing more than a cuddle button, to be honest. I'm highly sceptical as to whether or not anyone actually reads them. I know Harada did suggest that it's kind of more of an evidence-gathering tool, so if someone's disconnection rate starts escalating, they can then refer to all those reports as kind of supporting evidence. So I kind of get that, I suppose. But, um, but yeah, I mean, it just seems like a really overcomplicated way of doing something that should be so much simpler, and that simple solution is to just award the points to the person that doesn't plug. I mean, how difficult can that really be? Uh, <laughs> you know, but I mean, again, people that are plugging in quick matches and one and done in quick matches, it's just why, you know, I go to quick matches to train and experiment with things, you know, I go there to get better, you know, so why on earth are people plugging and one and done in quick matches when there's literally nothing on the line apart from their own fragile ego, you know, how delicate are these people really? I mean, how delicate is the Tekken community? <laughs> it's, uh, it's shocking. It really is. Um, but, like I said, I mean, with Ranked, I do kind of get it, because it is a hideously stressful environment. And, you know, it's not exactly the ideal way to unwind after a day at work. Sometimes I'll come back after work to play some uh, Tekken and unwind a little bit on Ranked. And uh, I actually end up feeling more stressed out and worse than I did before. So, uh, so yeah, I totally get it. Ranked can be a horrible, stressful place to be. It's a nasty environment. And, you know, I can I completely understand why people would be driven to plugging and one and dunning. And I've seen some of the best players plug and one and done in ranked, you know. Uh, so, I mean, the frustration is real for all of us, you know. I'm not saying I condone it, but, you know, I understand it in ranked. But in quick matches, I really don't. It's <laughs> it's absolutely absurd. But anyway, um, that's going to about conclude it for this rant, because I probably could go on all day, and I'm just going to go round and round in circles, and then I'll probably start getting angry, and then uh, that's not going to be any fun for anyone. But um, but I just wanted to say thanks again, guys, for all your continued support for the channel, and it's good to be back. It's great to see you guys again, and hoping to get back to some uh, decent content soon. Like I said, I'm just drafting up ideas at the moment for more Feng tutorials and potentially a pull guide, so... Let me know if you'd be interested on that. Um, I know there's already a lot of great Paul content creators out there, so I don't want to sort of be treading on any of their toes. And also much better Paul players than mine, because my Paul is still... He's good, but uh, I wouldn't say my Paul's great. Nowhere near as good as my Feng, anyway. But um, but anyway, that's going to about do that for that video. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, and please drop me a comment, like, uh, share, and subscribe, and all that cool stuff. Um, and I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Thanks so much again for your continued support, and it's great to be back. Take care.